And now to the bizarre fish behavior in the Florida Keys. Since our story on Thursday, we've received a steady stream of video showing the scale of the unusual event that is now being seen beyond the lower Keys. And state lawmakers now allocating $2 million in the state budget to study that event. Our update tonight is this week's Don't Trash Our Treasure. A marine mystery in the lower Keys that continues to baffle. Sawfish. Shock. Oh! Look out. Oh, sh What the hell? And break hearts. So, so, so sorry, buddy. According to FWC, since December, at least 21 critically endangered small two sawfish have been reported dead. Separately, more than a dozen species of fish have been seen spinning and acting erratically. Now, we don't know if these two events are related but we, we have the investigations and lines of inquiry going on right now. And officials, not the only ones investigating. Well, back in February of last year, I noticed that uh, pinfish started behaving odd, like they were playing dead and, and they some of them were spinning. For Greg Furstenworth, the Lower Keys are more than just a vacation destination. This is home. That's why after he saw that first pinfish, he pressed record and hasn't put down the camera since. Oh no. And then uh, come around November, I started seeing the uh, behavior start doing that again. So we're in the waters between Little Torch Key and Big Pine Key. Most of the activity has been documented in these inland waters. Scientists say so far, it doesn't appear to be a low oxygen event. And the necropsies coming back don't show any signs of pathogens or bacteria. At first I was scared and now I'm just curious of what the environment's going to turn into if this keeps on progressing. What is he doing? Yeah. It's that curiosity that's fueling both residents and tourists to document these bizarre behaviors from Key West, now all the way north to Key Largo. We're up in the upper keys right now off of Key Largo and um, this is to our knowledge the first time that we're seeing our fish spinning. We have a very serious situation in the lower Florida Keys now that could be spreading to the middle and upper Keys. Dr. Brian LaPointe is a lower Keys resident and research professor at FAU's Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute. For more than four decades, Dr. LaPointe has seen the changes in water quality at his underwater laboratory at Lou Key. Back in the 70s and 80s when I used to dive at Lou Key when it was pretty much still intact uh, as it has been for thousands of years, the shallow fore reef was covered with branching corals. Unfortunately, we, we, we don't experience that anymore. Instead, experiences like this one have become more common. So when you wonder how bad the water is in the Keys, that's my white propeller. We began to see that pea soup green water appear in the Keys. That first appeared in, in late June, early July. It got worse through the summer. And as we all know, we had a very hot summer uh, in South Florida that exacerbated it. Last week, after seeing the images coming in from neighbors in the Keys, Dr. LaPointe volunteered to collect his own samples. These are from uh, Pine Channel and Bow Channel in the lower Florida Keys. The other thing we, we found in our water sampling last week was a dinoflagellate called Gambrodiscus. Normally, it's a benthic dinoflagellate that lives attached to seaweeds on the bottom. There are more than 18 different types of Gambrodiscus. And so far, it doesn't appear to be the smoking gun scientists are looking for. Is Gambrodiscus then causing this fish behavior? You know, we're not 100% sure there, but that's our lead right now. Dr. Michael Parsons is a professor at Florida Gulf Coast University School of Water and has been working directly with FWC on this. A lot of people are working really, really hard on this. We want to get to the bottom of this. And though we still don't have the answers, it has been a wake-up call for many. It's important that people pay attention to what we have and not wait until we figure out what we've lost. We will ride this out and hopefully come out on the other side uh, better for it. It's important to emphasize that there have been no reports of human health issues linked to this unusual event, but scientists do advise avoid eating any fish behaving erratically to stay on the safe side. For more on the investigation, as well as the process for reporting an incident to FWC, scan the QR code on your screen. It'll take you to the Don't Trash Our Treasure page on Local10.com.